What are risks and benefits to commodity trading? First off, the risks are you can lose a lot of money. Anything that can give you a high return, I don't care what it is, has a high risk associated with it. So that would be one thing. But the, the potential to be able to make a lot of money as a speculative trader is good. Every farmer should be using futures markets, as far as I'm concerned. And I'm not saying that because I'm a broker. I'm saying it because too many of these guys just say, well, I sell off the combine. Well, hello. Selling off the combine, you're usually selling it when there's a glut of co the commodity coming onto the marketplace and you see your cheapest prices most years. Risks to commodity trading, losing everything you own uh, is probably the biggest risk. Uh, very volatile markets and they're much bigger than when I got started in this 25 years ago these markets are huge now compared to then uh, you know you used to be able to trade one two lots or one or two contracts at a time you just get swallowed up now uh, these are enormous markets played by en uh, by folks with a lot of money and so you have to be very careful you have to know you have to be very comfortable with what you're doing and know when to get out know when to say that you're wrong you will not be able to say, well, it's going to come back, because usually it doesn't. Well, the speculator is obviously doing it because he thinks he's figured out the market and he's going gonna, to he's, he's gonna make some money on what, whatever position he takes. Obviously, the risk is that he's wrong and you can lose your shirt. I mean, you're, you're dealing in, with, a, with a, a situation that's highly leveraged where you're putting up a couple thousand bucks for a corn contract that's worth a, a lot of money, and, and that can swing you pretty hard if you're right and if you're wrong. So I think the leverage part of that is something that's really, it's, it's something that catches people uh, off guard sometimes and, and, and zaps them pretty good. Now, uh, the benefits to producers is it gives them an opportunity to, pr to price their product. That's why these, uh, these markets were invented in the first place. That was, that was the purpose is to give uh, producers a, ch a chance to, to, to make sales and not be limited to their local market. And I think that's, that's still true, particularly in the grains, where with all the bins that have been built, uh, you can go out and you can shop different buyers. You, you can sell it on the futures. You're not obligated to one in particular buyer. From personal experience, having had a customer list for a long, long time, I was always told from the get-go, make sure you know your customer. Make sure you know your customer. Well, over the course of time, I, I, I gathered a better understanding of what that meant. You need to understand what that person is trying to do. If he or she is trying to outsmart the market, fine. Have the capital and the risk capital available to be involved. And then secondly, you have to have the discipline, a great deal of discipline. You have to be able to take a loss because not every trade is going to be right. And those are extremely difficult skills to acquire. The risk is that if, if you don't know what you're doing, like any tool in your shop at home, you can get hurt pretty bad. You can lose money, you can have a lot of family strife, and it can become a very serious situation. The benefit though is that, like tools in your shed, when used properly, tremendous benefit tremendous, tremendous benefit. And the other thing to keep in mind is that not one futures or option tool or cash marketing tool is the right one year in and year out. And there might be two or three years that go by where you don't use a particular options uh, type or a trading tool. And then all of a sudden for the next two years, that's the one that's the best one to know. Well, the benefit in commodity trading is the fact that there's a, a huge potential from a trader standpoint uh, if, if you're not uh, using it as a hedge. Um, there's there's a, a huge amount of, of potential from that standpoint with a lot of leverage. From a hedger standpoint, uh, there's an awful lot of opportunity because you can lock in uh, profits and you can uh, control a, a, a much bigger quantity. Uh, for example, you can farm bigger, you can raise more cattle because you can just lock in your pocket, profit and take advantage of that. So I would say those are the two advantages from, from both sides. The risk always is that uh, if you're not uh, astute at what you're doing from a trader standpoint, uh, there's no guarantees that uh, if you're a poor trader, you probably don't make money.